What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how you can find untapped keywords by using Ahrefs, right? So if you guys are familiar with SEO, I'm sure you've probably already heard of Ahrefs. It's a SEO tool that many people use and it's very popular in the community. They do offer a seven day trial for I think around $7. Um, so if you can afford it, I highly suggest you to go ahead and purchase that uh, $7 seven day trial, right? You will get a ton of value out of it in order to find untapped keywords um, and do competitive research and much more, right? I highly suggest you, if you can afford it to purchase it, you will get a ton of value. And I'm gonna show you how you can use Ahrefs to find untapped keywords to create content around, right? I've used this strategy on my clients um, and we've been, able to successfully bring in hundreds of new visitors simply by finding these low hanging keywords and creating content around it that outranks our competitors, right? So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, now we are in my laptop. So you can see I have Ahrefs pulled up already. Um, so before I get into this, I just want to show you quickly, you know, some real some real life stats um, of, of traffic of, of, a, of my client, right? You can see here we're getting over 500 monthly visitors um, and this is a local business by the way but we've been able to bring in a ton of traffic nationally and really worldwide um, by targeting a bunch of different low-hanging keywords that we generated content around you can see we have uh, two blogs here that are bringing in over 100 uh, visitors and this is in the past seven days right so we're bringing in uh, a ton of traffic from these blogs this is the last 28 days you can see we have a ton of blogs that are bringing in hundreds of visitors right and this is simply because i've been able to do this strategy that i'm about to show you guys um so effectively and we just create better content than the competitors right um so let's go back to Ahrefs real quick um so the first thing is we can find easy to target keywords by going in and using Quora.com, right? If you guys are familiar with Quora, um, it's simply where people can uh, write questions and other people can answer it, right? Um, so anyone can go into here um, and they can, you know, request for a question to be answered. And then a bunch of other people go in there and answer it, right? And a ton of, and ton of times, I'm sure you guys have seen this before, a question that was answered on Quora can actually search can be uh, on the first page of Google, right? For a given search query. Um, and this is why it's such a great website that we can kind of use in order to find these easy keywords, right? If, if we see that there is a question on Quora that's ranking on the first page of Google, um, it's a very good indication. Um, if it has a very uh, low amount of upvotes, it's gonna be relatively easy to out outrank, right? And this is why we do want to target Quora.com simply because it's such a big website and there's so many different questions being answered on pretty much any topic that you could think of, right? So what we're gonna do here is we wanna take Quora.com, we're gonna come back to our site explorer. And what we wanna do here is let's just copy in, you know, Quora.com. All right, guys, so the first thing that we see here when we put in Quora.com, right, we get a bunch of their metrics. So we can see they have a very high domain rating, uh, they do have a ton of backlinks, right? And their <laughs> organic traffic is crazy. What we want to do here is we want to go to the top pages report. And what this is going to show us is going to give us the top pages that are getting the most amount of traffic, right? And because Quora is such a big website, they nearly have, you know, uh, topics that are ranking in very, uh, in many different niches, right? So what I want to do here is we want to first filter in the position. We want to filter from one to 10, right? And let's click apply. And this is going to give us the pages that are ranking on the first page, right? And this is why we want to filter um, from one to 10, right? We only want to get the pages that are already bringing in results. This is going to give us a good idea um, of how we can actually do the same, right? So once we filter for position, now we're gonna get a bunch of pages that are already ranking on the first page. And then what you wanna do here is, I also like to filter by KD, right? Keyword difficulty. I usually like to do zero and let's go up to 30, right? And this is gonna depend on um, your own website's domain rating, right? You don't wanna go too high if you have a, if you're a brand new domain, right? Um, and then once we get down here, you see we're continue filtering 
um, to give us you know the best uh, low hanging keywords that we can find right we are already filtered by positions so we know that these pages are on the first page and then we filtered keyword difficulty from uh, 0 to 30 right so these are going to be relatively easy keywords to go after right and then to get even more specific if you go to include you know you can include a keyword or topic that you want to target so let's say you were in you know the cooking niche uh, so let's just put cooking and then it's going to filter these pages to only give us topics that are in the cooking niche right so you can see right away we have um a couple of pages here you can see what is the average cooking temperature of a crock pot you can see the top keyword there is crock pot low temp um looks like it gets around 800 monthly visitors and their current page is in the fourth position right um and you can see this particular page is bringing them uh, 542 visitors on a monthly basis so we can go more in depth and let's go ahead and open this page up right here and what we want to do we want to pay attention to the number of upvotes so you see that they have 11 upvotes so they have you know a decent amount of upvotes so i would usually target uh, pages that have five or lower uh, amount of upvotes right so let's go back and let's see what else we can find here uh, we have what is a good substitute for per not when cooking what is the difference between baking and cooking so this looks like a promising keyword right here cook and bake uh, 200 monthly visitors and they're actually ranking number one uh, bringing in around 300 and monthly visitors so let's go ahead and click on this page and let's see what they have all right so let's take a look so we can see they only have uh, the top answer only has five upvotes right so this could be a, a good uh idea to make a blog post around right if we we're in the baking or cooking niche this could be an excellent topic to create a blog about um, and go way more specific and in depth on answering this specific question right um, and that's basically what i do when i'm searching um, for easy keywords that we can target right you can see we have uh how to make bathtub crank defrost bacon and microwave cooking frozen burgers um, so let's see here if we go and we look up this keyword that's bringing in 400 or gets 400 monthly visitors let's open up this page um, and see how this looks so this has quite a bit of upvotes here so you can kind of tell um, how you can kind of filter these right so you usually want to go for easier uh, pages that have less amount of upvotes right um, so what you can do here is you can just go through these different pages um, and I would usually target any pages that are getting um, 100, at least 100 amount of visitors uh, in traffic and above, right? So if you just go through these and depending on your topic, right? I mean, you could obviously change cooking. Um, you know, you can do like car racing if you're like in the car racing niche um, and get different topics, right? Um, so you can see here, it gives you a list of topics right away. Let's say you're in the marketing niche right a lot of people are in the marketing niche very competitive niche this is a great way to find keywords that are easy to target even in a highly competitive uh industry like marketing right you can see here adobe marketing cloud price um this brings in or gets 350 monthly visitors and they're actually ranking in the featured snippet right um, so we can open this up and also take a look at at this um, and we can kind of see in here and kind of see uh, how they answered it and how we can answer it um, more in depth, right? Um, and this is a great way to find keywords that we can target, right? Even in highly competitive niches, uh, you can see that this page is getting 239 monthly visitors, right? Um, and you can go even farther and do uh, a Google search for the top keyword and see what, what is ranking, right? You can see that uh, they actually have the snippet here, uh, the Quora page. And then if we go down, we have the people also ask. These are other things that you can include in your blog post, right? If you were to create a uh, article or blog around this keyword, right? We can go down and kind of see what's ranking. Um, and then you can kind of look at to see, it looks like this is a review right here. You can kind of see what they're including in their article and what you could also include and maybe some things that they're missing, right? 
um, you know, you could add like a video in here, custom images, um, and other things like that, right? So this is a good way to find easy to target keywords by using Quora.com or really any other uh, website that's related to Quora.com where people are ans asking questions and also getting it answered right because all these can potentially rank um, and it gives us a very good indication of, you know, what's already working out there and how we can improve and make it better um, by using these low hanging keywords, right? So this is one way I like to find uh, the low hanging fruit when it comes to keywords in my industry. Another way, um, which is another great way that I've done in the past and also highly competitive industries, such as in the medical industry is I like to use, um, I like to use my competitors and steal their keywords, right? Um, so for an example, I have a client that's in the medical niche, medical industry. Um, so if we go in here and we do uh, conventional and integrative medicine, you can see we actually have the featured snippet right here. Um, and we actually were able to beat, you know, these huge websites, you know, we're ranking above Mayo Clinic, morrisonhealth.com, um, and a bunch of other websites, right? So the way that I was able to find uh, this topic and we made this content around was I took a competitor of ours. So I'm going to go ahead and take this competitor, which I know is a direct competitor, and I'm going to go ahead and put in their domain here. So you can do this with your local uh, competitors, national competitors, any competitor that is in your same industry, you can also do this strategy. So just go ahead and put it a competitor. And again, we're going to top pages and very similar to what we did with Quora. This is going to give us um, more ideas on what type of content we can produce, right? Because it's already working. You can see here, take a look at their top rating page. You can see the top keyword is what is functional medicine. This could be a very uh, good keyword that we could also target, right? So you can see here, what is functional medicine? And then if we, if we open up their page, we can also see um, what they wrote about, what they're writing about uh, to give us a better understanding of what we also need to write about, right? So if you go and do a Google search, so if I do holistic doctor Dallas, and then we can just take, you know, one of our competitors, let's take a competitor, same thing. Let's put in their domain and we're still in the top pages report. Um, it's going to bring in more ideas of topics that we can bring about, right? Um, so let me try this website, see if they have anything. All right, so you can see here, they have a blog that's bringing in 136 visitors. Top keyword is pain and back of knee after running. And they actually have the featured snippet. So we would wanna go into here and see, you know, how can we create a blog in this and actually try to outrank them for that featured snippet, right? So if we just go in here, let's copy this keyword, let's paste it into Google. And then we can see what kind of comes up. So you can see here, it looks like it's highlighting this specific section from their blog. And then they answered it in, uh, looks like one sentence. So if we take a look at the blog and we can kind of pinpoint where that snippet is actually coming from. You can see right here that it's actually coming from this section right here. And then if we do, if we open up SEO Minion, we can see, you know, what type of eight header tag is, is that actual section. Um, you can see here that they're mentioning their bullet points using the header three, the H3. So if we wanted to try to compete against these guys, we would also uh, create, you know, our blog with these header three tags, right? Um, and we would see how we can better answer this question right here, right? Cut to try to take that feature snippet position from them, right? And that's pretty much my process when it comes to finding these from taking, you know, your competitors keywords. Um, one last technique that you can do, of course, you can go to the keyword explorer tab. Um, and let's go ahead and use vegan cooking for this example. If we type in vegan cooking, uh, we get some metrics here. You can see we have the keyword difficulty of zero, and this is not always accurate. You ideally want to actually go into the SERP and see how how difficult it really is, right? 
uh, because there could be some major players in that big uh, SERP it's going to be difficult to compete with but if we go into here let's type in having same terms and this is going to bring up a bunch of keywords that have this exact term in it and again let's filter the keyword difficulty by 0 to 10 right we want to find extremely easy keywords that we want to target um, and then we can see how many results we get you can see we get 126 keywords um, and this is going to give us a bunch of ideas right so you can see vegan cooking classes near me vegan cooking book uh, vegan cooking schools right if you have uh, if you have like a cooking school um, let's see what else we can find vegan cooking oil vegan cooking for carnivores uh, online vegan online vegan cooking classes these are all easy keywords that you could create pages around, create content around, um, simply by using these filters that Ahrefs gives you, right? And all these keywords we already know are relatively easy to rank for, right? Ideally, you wanna take this keyword and then also do a search in it and do a manual uh, analysis of the competition that's ranking in here. Um, and if you wanna kinda go more in depth on how you can actually um, do more in depth uh, competitor research I'll put a uh, I'll put a link somewhere in this video to that specific video that I've made so that's pretty much it guys when it comes to finding easy keywords to target I hope you guys learned something new if you did leave me a thumbs up leave me a comment if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one